What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader and as I promised in a previous video, my very first Collector Archive Services order has just arrived and this box is massive. And it's funny because there's only four items in here and there's really they're really not that big. There's one, you know, the heart wrencher that you guys saw in the preview video is probably somewhat large, but the other ones are really tiny. So, I assume that these are double boxed. So, um, I guess what I'll do, since I have never gotten a CAS order before, uh, I'll go ahead and at least unbox and box it so you guys can see what it looks like coming back from CAS. And then I'll pause it to uh, kind of stack them up so we can take a closer look at the four items I got. But it's really just four small items, but for, I mean, look how big it is for reference. I'll put my hand next to it. So it's, it's a gigantic box, but um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up on camera so you guys can take a look and see how CAS boxes it versus AFA. Hold on one second. I don't know if this is, I don't know how the uh, camera angle is, so I apologize if the camera angle is not great, but I'm making my way through it here. We got lots of packing peanuts, as you'd expect. And I have no idea, oh, this is probably, I hope that's on the camera, but this is probably the, uh, the statements of archive. Um, you know, as I showed in a previous video, every, uh, Submission to CAS comes with statements of archive, so I assume that that's what that is. I'll open that, uh, that off camera and we'll take a closer look at it with the items. Lots of packing peanuts, and yes, it is double boxed, so I'm not sure what we got here, but it is a massive box. Lots of packing peanuts. Let's see what we got. This has got to be my heart wrencher, I assume. Hopefully that's coming through. So that's one box. And then I think the other box will be for the other three graded items that I sent in. And this is the second box. So, two tiny boxes inside of a gigantic box. So what I'll do is I'll get these unpacked and then uh, we'll take a closer look at them. Uh, just give me one second. And we are back. Well, I got my four items in. And you guys know what one of them was. It's the, uh, the G.I. Joe FSS Heart Wrencher. Uh, that turned out amazing. It's just an incredible piece. I'm going to do proper unboxing or, you know, review videos and all these, but look how awesome that turned out. I just love it. it turned out really cool. The uh, Statement of Archive is on the back for this one, I believe. Uh, yeah, so that's the Statement of Archive, so I'll, I'll have that one pulled out separately, but... Um, just a really, really cool piece. Uh, I came back with a 90, score of 90. And like I said, I'll, I'll cover this in more detail in a, in a proper video once I get the poly bag off. But I did think you guys would want to take a, a quick look at it. But just an awesome, awesome piece. You can see the, uh, you, the uh, accessories down there have been cased separately in a clear case. And then Heart Wrencher herself has a clear back behind her. And then also uh, braces and things like that. But... Uh, you know, just an awesome, awesome piece. So it's Dreadnought uh, Heart Wrencher along with the Dreadnought Assault, uh, Ground Assault Vehicle. So this came out last year, or this year, uh, earlier this year, and um, is a very sought after piece. And this is a one of a kind, first time that CAS has ever done this. And it's pretty incredible. Um, you guys have already seen it in my preview video, but that's pretty awesome. Um, and then I've got three more figures that uh, turned out pretty nice. Uh, one of them is... The 1984 Hooded Cobra Commander Mail-Away. This was a Mail-Away exclusive, and he turned out amazing. Uh, I love the colors on him. They mounted the gun separately. You can see the kind of the accessory case there, as well as the foul card. And he came back with an 85, so near mint score. And uh, 1984 Hooded Cobra Commander Redback Foul Card. So, turned out great. Really, really awesome, highly sought after figure. He was only available as a mail away exclusive in 1984, so you know this is a you know a 34 year old figure, um, and he's just absolutely gorgeous. Could not be happier with the way he's mounted. And then I got two pretty wild ones here. Uh, the next one is 
Destro, uh, this was from the 20, uh, 2012 San Diego Comic-Con box set. Uh, I believe he came with a Cobra Commander figure as well as a Hiss tank that was actually Shockwave. And so it was a G.I. Joe Transformers crossover. And so it was a pretty wild figure. You can see Destro here, the weapon supplier. But he's got the Decepticon logo from Transformers, which I just thought was awesome. He came with like a carrying case for Energon cubes for the Transformers, as well as kind of a ray gun. He also had a Decepticon briefcase with money. And then you can see weapon supplier Destro. And so this one also came back with a 90. Destro weapon supplier, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive with file card. So turned out pretty awesome. It's completely ridiculous, but I love me some Destro. He's one of my favorite figures. And I've had this figure for a while, uh, just, you know, in a poly bag. And I thought, what better way to display it than in on a really obnoxious acrylic case? So uh, it turned out awesome, though. I, I could not be happier with the way it looks. I like how they put the gun on a diagonal there. And I like how they mounted the Energon cubes and everything kind of separately. But pretty, it turned out pretty awesome. All right, finally, I only got four in, this, in that huge box. I only had four. But this is a really cool one. This is Snake Eyes. Uh, this was a DVD pack-in figure uh, for a 2003 DVD set. And uh, you can't see it because of all the poly bag, but, you know, the original Snake Eyes Commando was black, but in the cartoons, he was a light blue, or a, a dark purplish blue, excuse me. And uh, that's what this one is. So when they re-released uh, the DVD packs in 2003, uh, they gave him uh, the original kind of color scheme, along with, you know, an updated sword, his Uzi, uh, binoculars, uh, a backpack, and then Timber, his wolf. You can kind of see him there. I love how they cased him there. Very secure is what he is. And then the file card. And uh, this one also came back with 85. 2003 Hasbro G.I. Joe Series 19 DVD exclusive Snake Eyes Commando with Timber. I found this from a... This is a really, really difficult figure to find in good condition. I found him sealed uh, still in the poly bag uh, from a seller in Denmark of all places. And I paid a lot of money for him because he's just really difficult to find in good condition. Uh, and he was still sealed in the bag. So, uh, but turned out great, really happy with him. And, uh, so those are the four, those are the four I got. Um, you know, it, it, they turned out really great. We'll obviously do uh, proper videos on them. Uh, here are the statements of archival for the other three figures. So you can kind of see what they look like. Uh, but you know, really nice. And, uh, you know, it's, I love how the fact that they do this for, for, for each of their gradings. So, I just sent in a batch of 39 figures today, actually, to CAS. So, interesting timing, but 39 figures I just sent in. It's going to be expensive, but uh, it's going to be awesome when I get them back. I'm not going to tell you much more. Uh, you guys already know a couple of them that I've sent in, but I've got 39 total that I've been collecting over the last eight months or so. And uh, so I sent them in, and we'll take a look at them when they come back in three or four or five months. These took fi five months, so it took a while. But they turned out awesome. I could not be any happier. I, am a, I, I, highly, I know the owner of Collector Archive Services personally now, and he is fantastic to work with. The COO uh, is also fan the chief operating officer. He's also been nothing but fantastic to work with. I cannot say enough positive things about CAS. Uh, obviously, their turnaround time is really long. They're working on it. Uh, you know, they're trying to get some more people to help, you know, ha handle all the backlog. But these guys do custom grading that uh, AFA will not touch. I mean, this 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 heart wrencher is one of a kind piece. Nobody else has done it except for me. I sent it into them and I said, grade it and mount it however you want to. You know, whatever you guys think think would look good and not take up too much sp shelf space space. And I mean. You know, it's actually relatively small. If you think, you know, my hand it goes the length of it. And I got big hands, but you know, <laughs> you know what they say about guys with big hands. But, you know, this this is an awesome piece. I mean, it's, it's really one of a kind. That being said, what's great about CAS is once somebody orders something really cool like this for a figure that's not, I mean, it's it's expensive. It's an expensive figure. You're probably going to pay two to three hundred dollars for a for a, uh, a sealed in bag heart wrencher. But you know, this is a very attainable thing to do, and the grading on this was, you know, it, it was pricey, but look what I get for it. I mean, this is just an incredible one-of-a-kind piece that AFA could never do, and it's just a testament to, to Collector Archive Services and what they do. So, you know, look, I, 
Am I happy about their turnaround times? No, but when I get something like this back from them, it makes the wait worth it, and uh, I could not be happier with them. Uh, for this order, I give it a, you know a 10 out of 10. I mean, it's just everything turned out just awesome. And, uh, you know, obviously the scores are great too. I mean, I got 85s and 90s on, on all four of them. So, um, but anyway, uh, this is my very first order with CAS. The process is seamless and, uh, you know, I just can't speak highly enough about them. So anyway, thanks for watching. And I'll do, like I said, I'll do proper videos on all these, but, um, you know, this is definitely of all these four, you know, this Cobra commander is the oldest by far. It's 34 years old, but uh, I mean, his colors are just awesome. I mean, he he just turned out fantastic. And I got such a deal on this figure. I got him steel sealed in the original poly bag. And uh, one quick note, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of rambling here, but one quick note. If you guys send in stuff to, to CAS for loose grading, which is what all these are, you do have to open the items before you send them to CAS. They will not open them for you. So for every one of these, I had to kind of snip open the bags, leave them, I left them in the bags, but I... I uh, I snipped them open so they can say that they're loose now. And, uh, I mean, you know, the reason I got them polybagged is because I wanted high-quality figures that I would get high grades on. But, you know, if you want to get loose grading done with CAS, it's not like uh, AFA where they'll do uncirculated, you know, loose grading on Star Wars figures. you got to open them up yourself before you send them in. And that's true for anything. So, uh, anyway, uh, sorry to ramble, but super excited about how these turned out. And uh, I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching.